Goodbye, Peter, my old friend. Today you will be executed. I grieve for you. And grieve not for me. I have no fear. How can you take this so lightly? You look like you're happy. I am. Because I believe in the Savior's promise of everlasting happiness for all his followers. Who is this Savior? Have you not heard of Jesus Christ? Then let me tell you about him so that you too can have this happiness. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. It was prophesied that the Savior would be born of a virgin, and so it came to pass. The Virgin Mary, betrothed to the carpenter Joseph of Nazareth, became, through the Holy Ghost, the mother of the promised Redeemer. And with her betrothed, Mary went to Bethlehem, and there she brought forth her firstborn son. And she wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, for there was no room for them in the inn. And they called his name Jesus. And the shepherds from the nearby fields came to see the child. For an angel had said to them, There is born unto you this day in the city of David the Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream, telling him to flee into Egypt, for Herod was seeking the child to destroy him. And they journeyed into Egypt at night and did not return to Nazareth until after the death of King Herod. Even as a child, God had favored Jesus with wisdom beyond his years. But until he was 30 years old, he worked as a carpenter in Nazareth. And into the land came a man sent from God, whose name was John. He was not the light that God has given to the world, but came that he might bear witness to that light. This man was known as John the Baptist. He was my teacher. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low. The crooked shall become straight and the rough way smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Holy prophet, who art thou? Art thou Elijah return? I am not. Who art thou then? I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Lord. Who I baptize thou then, if thou be not Elijah, nor Christ, the anointed one. I indeed baptize with water, but one mightier than I is now in the land, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize with the Holy Ghost. And who is he? He is called Jesus. And I did see the Spirit descend from heaven upon him. I have seen and borne witness that he is the Son of God. He is the Anointed One, the Lamb of God who has come to take away the sins of the world. Through him the blind receive their sight, the lame walk, and the lepers become cleansed. And the poor have good tidings to reach to them. These gatherings of common people cannot be allowed to continue. This is the man called John the Baptist who's been ready against Herod. This gathering together of Israelite rabble is unlawful. Herod has so decreed. Yea, Herod is a simple one who does violence to men whenever it suits him. Oh, yeah, he is Herod. Herod is the law here in Galilee. It is not lawful for him to have his brother's wife. Herod is evil, and his wife is an adulterer. Israelite dog! Let him him and take him! Disperse! Throw your hose! I, I am poverty home, which had burdens with taxes. Yeah. 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 Here now the Messiah cometh, he will bring you salvation. You shall speak your reproaches against Herod from within the walls of his prison. Take him! The axe shall be laid upon the root of the trees. Every tree that bringeth forth not good fruit shall be hewn down and cast into the fire. And Herod would have put John to death then, but he feared the multitudes, for they counted John as a prophet and a holy man. But before John was imprisoned, Jesus himself appeared, and Jesus was baptized of John, and went into the wilderness for forty days to be tempted of the devil, and was offered the kingdoms of the earth to fall down and worship. But Jesus resisted temptation, saying, Get thee hence, Satan, 
For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. When the torturing 40 days were over, Jesus came into that part of Israel known as Judea and began to teach. Some of the events of his divine life I shall tell you about. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are they which have been persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Another prophet. <laughs> I've only a short time ago thrown in prison one of these holy prophets who called Herod's queen an adulteress. <laughs> but woe unto you who laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. This gathering of common people is unlawful. Rome has decreed it. We do it all. David. Well, beloved son of David. Have mercy upon me. Mercy, master. What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? That I may receive my sight. Believest thou that I am able to do this? Yea, master. According to thy faith, be it unto thee. Before have I seen the light. My Lord has answered me. He has granted me patience. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. Yea, Master. I see. I see. Master. What seek ye? Master, where dwellest thou? Come and see. Thus Jesus found his first disciples, John and Andrew. Ten others were called, one of which was I. Peter, understand you this mission the Master would have us undertake? Understanding cometh only from the Lord. We need but have faith. He will enlighten us. What think you, Thomas? To go forth and preach to the people without the master? My doubts greatly trouble me. When cometh the master? When it is meet that he should come, Andrew. Are we all now assembled? Yea, Philip. All save Judas. I am here. Peter, where is the master? Patience, Judas, he will come. I wonder who of us will be greatest in this undertaking. I shall be greatest. Nay, 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 I shall be greatest. greatest. The master. The master. What is it that ye dispute among yourselves? Master, which of us shall be greatest in thy work? Yes, 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 yes. If any man desire to be first, the same shall be last of all and servant of all. For he that exalteth himself shall be abased, and whosoever humbleth himself shall be exalted. Go now unto the people and preach the kingdom, even as I have taught you. What shall we take for our journey? Take nothing for your journey, neither bread, neither money, neither have two coats apiece. Master, how then shall we be clothed? Yea, Master, how shall we be clothed? Sit ye. And why take ye thought for raiment? 
Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed as one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, shall he not much more clothe you? O ye of little faith, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. But Master, if we are to take nothing with us, where shall we store that which we own? Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Yea, Master, you understand. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake. And when they do accuse us, what testimony shall we give of ourselves? It shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. But master, how can the father's spirit speak in us? God the father is spirit. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but of the Father that dwelleth in me. Verily I say unto you, He that believeth in me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall ye do. Master, if we go forth to teach thy word, and into whatsoever house ye enter, First say, Peace be unto this house. And in that same house remain, eating and drinking such things as they give you. For the laborer is worthy of his hire. And into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you, heal the sick that are therein. And say unto them, The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. Heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received really give. Peace be unto you. Go ye now. Soon after the master had called his very first disciples, he journeyed with them into the land of Samaria. Now there was hatred between the Jews and the Samaritans, which was deep and of long standing. But Jesus had no hatred of the Samaritans. And he walked without rest until he came to the spot known as Jacob's Well, one of the oldest in the world. Here it was that all the villagers came to bring their animals to drink and to fetch water for their households. Woman, give me to drink. How is it that thou, being a Jew, ask drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? But the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. If thou knewest who it is that saith to thee, give me to drink, thou wouldst have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. From whence hast thou that living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. For the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water, springing up into everlasting life. Give me this water that I thirst not, 
go, call thy husband and come hither. I have no husband. Thou hast well said, I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. In that saidst thou truly. Yes, I perceive thou art a prophet. Why comest thou hither to Samaria? Our fathers worshipped in this mountain, but ye say the temple in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. The hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. I know the Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. I that speak unto thee am he. No friend of men, I have followed thee, for my soul is hungry for thy wisdom. Teach me thy ways that I may become righteous in thy sight. We have heard it said, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Master, how shall I, a sinner, find the kingdom of God? He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. Trust in God, and what things soever ye desire. When ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. But, Master, I am not worthy. What man, having a hundred sheep, and he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after the one which is lost, until he find it? I say unto you, there shall be more joy in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. But, Master, my sins are many. Thy sins are forgiven thee. Thy faith hath saved thee. Lord, truly the Messiah that has been promised to our people. I have found peace at last. Master, and do not the things which I say. Master, what wouldst thou have us do? <laughs> Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. <laughs> he is like a man which built a house and digged deep and laid the foundation upon a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream did beat vehemently against that house, but could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. But he that heareth and doeth not is like a man which without a foundation built a house upon the sand, against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. Ah! Hast thou come to torment me before my time? What am I to do with thee, Jesus? Thou son of God, most high! Master, beware, his chains are broken! Master, go not near him! It, this is a maniac, beware! Where is thy home? The tomb! The tomb! I beseech thee by the living God that thou torment me not! Torment me not! Master, beware! He has been mad these many years and wanders in the wilderness! What is thy name? Legion! Legion, for we are many. Many devils have entered into us. I adjure thee by the living God that thou sendest not into the deep. I beseech thee that thou torment me now. Torment me now. Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Nay, he lives. Oh, 
Oh, Master, thou hast brought me peace at last. <laughs> Go home to thy friends and tell them what great things God hath done for thee. Yea, Master, he hath brought me peace at last. At last. He has healed the madman. Is not this the Christ? Now we believe, for we have seen for ourselves. Now indeed we know thou art the Christ, Savior of the world. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. And the spy had been sent by the Pharisees to bring back reports of this man who was worshipped by the multitudes. And when the high priests of the temple were told that Jesus had healed a demoniac and had made friends with the Samaritans, their concern was great. For should his power over the people become too strong, Rome might take away the high positions of the Pharisees. Now, among the Pharisees was a man named Nicodemus, who was a seeker of the truth. And he heard that Jesus told of a God of love, a God of mercy. And Nicodemus sought out Jesus by night to learn of him. Master, I know thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do that which thou doest, except God be with him. I say unto you, Nicodemus, except a man be born anew, he cannot see the kingdom of God. How can a man be born when he is old? Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. I marvel that thou say unto me that I must be born anew. Art thou a teacher of Israel, and understandeth not these things? Master, bear with me. I seek enlightenment. In our scriptures it is written, the people are as they strive with their priests. And like people, like priests, God will punish them for their ways. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God sent not his Son to judge the world, but that the world through him should be saved. He that believeth on him is not judged. He that believeth not hath been judged already. But how hath the world been judged already? This is the judgment. The light is coming to the world, yet men have loved the darkness rather than the light for their works were evil. For every man that doeth evil doth hate the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth the truth cometh to the light, that his works may be made manifest, for they have been performed in God. Master, I begin to understand thee, and I would bring this light upon the darkness of my people, that they may escape punishment. This night have I known a ray of light, and it has brought a new warmth into my heart. Thou didst prophesy truly when thou saidst of us, blind leaders of the blind. Go thy way in peace. Master. Master. Ye have returned. Yea, Master. We have traveled far and taught thy word. Some have heeded us, others have mocked us. Many persecutions have we borne. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Master. Master. James, what troubles thee? John the Baptist is dead. Herod hath slain him. Slain John the Baptist? Yea, Peter. But why? To satisfy the whim of Herodias, his severed head was placed before her on a charger. Among them that are born of women, there hath not been a greater man than John the Baptist. 
If this great prophet has been killed, what of thee, master? Darest thou remain among the people? Whom say the people that I am? And some say one of the old prophets is risen again. Others say Elijah. And whom say ye that I am? Thou art the Christ, the anointed one, son of the living God. Blessed art thou, Simon Bar-Jonah, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. But I charge you, tell no man that I am the Christ. For the Son of Man must go into Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes. Be killed and raised again upon the third day. Nay, nay, this shall not be done unto thee. Get thee behind me, Satan. For thou savorest not the things that be of God, but the things that be of men. For whosoever would save his life shall lose it. And whosoever would lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Be killed and raised again on the third day? What shall that mean? I know not, but I fear for him. I too fear for him. And would not have him go into Jerusalem and be Where killed. Master, we have sought for thee since thou didst beat us in the wilderness. Master, great are thy works, and blessed be thy name. Lord Zadok, this is the man I told you of, the one I saw at Samaria. Be of good cheer, it is I. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Ye are the salt of the earth. Ye are the light of the world. Even so, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Master, tell us again of the kingdom of heaven. Yes, yes, master. Master. The kingdom of heaven is like unto a net which was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which, when it was filled, they drew up on the beach. And they sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but the bad they cast away. So shall it be in the end of the world, and the angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the righteous. We must seek to catch something out of his mouth, that we might accuse him openly before the people. And I say unto you that except your righteousness exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, he shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. What sign from heaven showest thou to us that we may believe thee? Yea, Master, show us this sign. Yea, yeah, yeah, sign. sign. The wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. When ye see a cloud rise out of the west, straightway ye say, There cometh a shower, and so it is. But when ye see the south wind blow, ye say, There will be heat, and it cometh to pass. Ye hypocrites! He can discern the face of the sky and of the earth. How is it he cannot discern the sign of the time? Yes, yeah, true. He is not but a carpenter's son who seeks to mislead the people by perverting the truth. He is the Messiah that is to bring peace on earth. The Messiah. 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 Master. Master, I have sought for thee. My servant lies at home, sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. I will come and heal him. But I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof. I am a Roman centurion. Having under myself soldiers, I say to this one, go, and he goeth. To another, come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. If thou but speak only the word, my servant shall be healed. Verily I say unto you, I have not seen so great faith, nay, not in Israel. Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so shall it be done unto you. Is he not our king? See the power he has over these Romans. Behold, your king! Master, lo, thy kingdom is at hand. My kingdom 
is not of this world. It is the kingdom of God. But if he is to be our king, why does he do good for that Roman who is our enemy? Yea, Lord, why? I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you and pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you. Master, teach us to pray. Come, we've heard enough. When thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray, standing in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret. And thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now, Jesus had a dear friend, a man of Bethany named Lazarus. And Lazarus' sisters, Martha and Mary, sent word to Jesus, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. But Jesus remained for two days in the place where he was. Then he said, let us go into Judea, to the home of Lazarus and Bethany. And we followed, not knowing that Jesus was going to reveal to us the glory of God, that we might believe. Weep not, Martha. The Master is here. But Lazarus is dead. Martha. Master, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. Thy brother shall rise again. I know he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? I believe thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. Call thy sister. Mary, Mary, the master is come and calls for thee. Master, thou hast come at last. If thou had been here, my brother would not have died. He weepeth. Behold how he loved him. Take ye away the stone. But, Master, he has been dead four days. Said I not unto thee that if thou wouldst believe, thou shouldst see the glory of God? Take ye away the stone. Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me, and I know that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Lazarus, come forth. Jesus remained in Bethany for a few days at the home of his friend Lazarus. And the common people learned that he was there. And they came, not for Jesus' sake only, but that they might see Lazarus also, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests took counsel how they might put Lazarus to death. 
because by reason of him, many of the people went away and believed on Jesus. The master coming. Master. master, wilt thou not tarry here with us? Here thou art safe. Yea, master. Since the raising of Lazarus, thy fame had spread. Many believe, but some went their ways to the Pharisees and told them the things thou hast done. And they have taken counsel against thee. I have set my face toward Jerusalem. 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 Master, go not thither. Remain here with us. Sit here that I may anoint thy feet. Thou knowest how they have sought to stone thee if thou goest there again. Master, danger awaits thee in Jerusalem. Andrew, go ye to the village. And at your entering ye shall find a colt tied, whereon yet no man ever sat. Loose him and bring him hither. And if any man ask you, why do ye loose him? Thus shall ye say unto him, because the Lord hath need of him. Come, Philip, come. Who is this man that has been raised from the dead? Lazarus. Jesus has raised him. Where is this Lazarus? Within. Martha, his sister, is serving the supper. Why this waste? That ointment is costly. The odor thereof fills the air. Why was not that ointment sold for? For 300 pence. And the money given to the poor. Let her alone. Why trouble ye her? She hath wrought a good work upon thee. The poor ye have with you always. And whensoever ye will, ye may do them good. But me ye have not always. Not always. She hath done what she could. She has come aforehand to anoint my body for the burying. Let us question this man. Art thou one of this man's disciples? I am. And yet thou art displeased with him. If I am displeased, it is because I hold the purse, and I understand not waste. Nor do we understand it. Is not waste sin? Who is this woman that doth anoint him with this costly ointment? She is Mary, sister of Lazarus. Lazarus? It is he we have come to see. Yea, where is this Lazarus? I am Lazarus. Behold, Lazarus. He lives! He lives! He lives. And why think ye he was dead? We know he was dead, for he lay four days interred in the tomb. But then came the master again, and called him back to life. And straightway he arose from the grave, and now does live anew. Tis true, tis true. Hail, Hail Lazarus. Lazarus! Hail, Jesus of Nazareth! We would question this Lazarus. Oh, nay, nay, remain now within Lazarus. For there are those among the chief priests who would seek to destroy thee, too. Come, Lazarus. How knew she this? What would ye? Why came ye hither? We come but to learn of thee and thy reputed power. We have heard thou dost heal the sick, cause the blind to see, and cast out devils. Who art thou? Art thou the Christ? By what power do ye these things? If thou be the Christ, show us thy power that we too may serve thee. How but through the power of God can one cast out devils? If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then shall his kingdom stand? Well hath Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, who honoreth me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. If any man would serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there also shall my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Master, master, thy name is upon every tongue. A multitude doth follow us hither. They bear palm branches and cry, Hosanna to thy name. Hosanna. Blessed be the king that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. King, would ye have this man usurp the power of Caesar? Yea, for he is the son of David, Lord of Lords, King of Judea. King, king of, of Judea. Judea. Master, this is the hour that I've been waiting for. Thy kingdom is at hand. Now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. My son. Mother. My son, I beseech thee, go not into Jerusalem. For this cause came I unto this hour. Be it so then, as thou wilt. Mary, mother of Jesus, remain here in the comfort of thy friends. Behold my mother and my brethren, for whosoever would do the will of God, the same is my brother, my sister, and my mother. 
Master, we have found the colt, even as thou hast said. Behold, we go up to Jerusalem. Hail, Jesus of Nazareth. Ruler of Israel. King of kings. King of kings. King King. Such speech is treason. Hail, Master. Rebuke thy disciples. I tell thee that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. of devout Israelites made the pilgrimage to the Jerusalem temple to worship and to place burnt offerings on the altar. And the profits of the money changers and the vendors who sold sheep and doves were very great. Um, change of foreign coins for sacrificial money. Um, um, but I tell you there's an error. Nay, nay, that is the exchange value. According to the temple regulations, I cannot give thee more. But thou art demanding a force more than the exchange value. Thou art robbing me of 40 pence. That is my lawful profit. How else can I pay silver to the temple treasury for a license? Get thee hence. Nay, thou hast robbed me of 40 pence. I should complain of the priest. Uh, Make way for Lord Zadok and the priests of the high temple. Lord Zadok. Who is this beggar? A blind man. I've seen him often. Men say he was born blind. How then dost thou now see? Canst thou see? Yea, now I can see. Thou hast but pained thy blindness. Nay, nay, men know I was born blind. Jesus of Nazareth hath given me my sight. I follow him. Will he not also be his disciples? We are Moses' disciples. We know that God spake unto Moses. As for this fellow, we know not from whence he is. But he hath healed me. Were he not of God, he could do nothing. Thou wert altogether born in sin. Dost thou presume to teach us? Get thee hence. Away with thee. But be I can gone, away away with thee. Thee. Be gone, be gone, away. Oh, Who is this Jesus? Oh, was he truly blind or did he pretend? Lord Zadok. I am Elchus. Tis he, Jesus of Nazareth. With his disciples? Yea, Lord Zadok. They bear palm branches and sing Hosanna. They call him the Christ and King of Israel. We must put an end to this. Melchus. He must be discredited with the people. Yea, Lord Zadok, but how? But they say they call him king. Why bring ye children? Call them unto you. Forbid them not. Suffer the little children to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of heaven as a little child, he shall not enter therein. He that entereth not by the door of the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Sheep always know the voice of the shepherd. Yea, he calls them, and they follow him. And a stranger they will not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Yea, they always flee from strangers. I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and am known of mine. And I lay down my life for the sheep. Master. Good master, what shall I do that I too may inherit eternal life? Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, 
that is God. Thou knowest the commandment, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, defraud not, honor thy father and thy mother. Ah, but master, all these things have I observed from my youth. One thing thou lackest. Go thy way, sell whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. And come, take up thy cross, and follow me. Alas, master, I have great possessions. I cannot sell all these things that I have. We must snare him into saying something that will condemn him. He calls himself King of Judea. Let us question him concerning tribute to Caesar. Surely this will condemn him. Master, we know thou art true and teachest the way of God and truth and regardest not the person of man. Is it therefore lawful to give tribute to Caesar? Why tempt ye me? Give me a penny that I may see it. Here, Lord Zadok. Whose is this image and superscription? Caesar's. Render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy strength. The second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. A woman was taken in adultery. Notice, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now, Moses in the law commanded that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? What sayest thou? Yea, answer this, thou king of Judea. She is a sinner. Should she not be stolen? Yeah. 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 He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. Woman, where are these thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? No man, master. Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. He has forgiven her. Tell us, by what authority doest thou these things? Yea, tell us. I also will ask you one thing, which if ye tell me, I in likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, whence was it, from heaven or of man? If we shall say from heaven, then he will say unto us, Why did ye not then believe him? But if we say of men, we fear the people, for all hold John as a prophet. Indeed, master, we cannot tell from whence it was. Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. Had ye believed in Moses, ye would have believed in me. But if ye believe not his writings, how can ye believe in my words? Did not Moses give you the law? And yet none of you keepeth the law. Thou hast healed many on the Sabbath day, and this is not lawful. And are ye angry because I have healed on the Sabbath? Is it unlawful on the Sabbath day to do good? The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. Verily I say unto you that publicans and harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and ye believed him not. But the publicans and harlots believed him. Nay, nay, thou hast deceived me. I tell thee, I take no more than my lawful profit. Thou didst rob me, even as thou didst rob my sister. Thief, thief! A curse upon thy entire family. Off with thee! Take these things hence! Oh, my money, my money! Take these things hence! Make not my house a house of merchandise. It is written, it shall be called a house of prayer. Ye have made it a den of thieves. 
Take these things hence. This is beyond endurance. Are we to stand by and see him overthrow the authority of the priests? He stirreth up the people and should be taken. What sign showest thou to us? Seeing thou doest these things, show us a sign. sign. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Three days? Forty and six years was this temple in the building, and thou wilt rid it in three days. From whence art thou? I came down from heaven. Yea, he is indeed the Son of God. Oh, if ye continue in my word, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. We be of Abraham's seed, and we're never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. Thou art not yet fifty years old, and thou hast seen Abraham before Abraham was. I am. The Lord I am. I unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, ye have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith, ye blind guides. Ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. Do I ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? Therefore, behold, I send unto you prophets, wise men, and scribes. Some of them shall ye kill and crucify, and some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues, and persecute them from city to city, that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth. Hosanna! Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna! Hosanna in Lord Zadok, the high priest Caiaphas, most worthy Caiaphas, this man Jesus of Nazareth Stirreth up the people to rebel against our religion. He must be taken. He must be taken when alone with his disciples. To avoid an immediate uprising, let us merely say that we imprison him. Then someone must be found to seek out his hiding place. But no one knows where he dwelleth. My Lord Caiaphas, here is a man who knows where Jesus doth resort. What is thy name? Judas Iscariot, a disciple of Jesus. Thou wouldst deliver him? My Lord Caiaphas, what wouldst thou give him? It is written in the scripture that the goodly price for a slave is 30 pieces of silver. 30 pieces of silver? Count out 30 pieces of silver. This man is a menace to our religion. It would be well to imprison him, him for a short time to prevent his uttering any more extreme doctrines. Thou wouldst do well to help us. What sayest thou? What sayest thou? I will deliver him into your hands. And on Thursday of that week, all Israelites celebrated the feast of the Passover at sundown. In a room of a house on Mount Zion, we twelve disciples were called to eat the feast with our beloved master. And he loved us all, even Judas. For truly, Jesus was the Son of God, sent to save the world. Ye call me Master and Lord, and ye say well. For so I am. Your Lord and Master has washed your feet. Ye ought also to wash one another's feet. For which is greater, he that sitteth at meat or he that serveth? Master, we know that he that serveth and is humble is greater in the kingdom of heaven. If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. When I sent you forth without purse and scrip and shoes, lacked ye anything? Nothing, nothing. 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 Yet all ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, the Lord will smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered. Nay, master, although all others may be offended, yet will not I. I say unto you that this day, even in this night, 
before the cock crow twice. Thou shalt deny me thrice. Master, if I were to die with thee, yet would I not deny thee in any wise. Nor will I, Master. Nor I. Nor I. I speak not of you all. I know whom I have chosen. But he that eateth bread with me hath lifted up his heel against me. Verily I say unto you that one of you shall betray me. Master, this cannot be. Who among us would betray thee? Master, is it I? Lord, is it I? Lord, is it I? Is, is it, it I? Lord? Is it I, Lord? Master, who is it? He it is to whom I shall give a sop when I have dipped it. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him, but woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. With desire, I have desire to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. This is my body, which is given for you. Take. Eat. This do in remembrance of me. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Drink ye all, Lord. Verily I say unto you, I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. thou doest, do quickly. of man glorified and God is glorified 
in him. Little children, yet a little while I am with you. Ye shall seek me, but whither I go, ye cannot come. So now a new commandment give I unto you, that ye love one another, even as I have loved you. Lord, wilt thou leave us, and shall we see thee no more? Whither goest thou? Why cannot I follow thee? Whither I go, thou canst not follow me now, but thou shalt follow me afterward. Lord, what meanest thou? Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God? Yea. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and whither I go ye know, and the way ye know. Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Master, show us the Father. Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. If ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will send you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Lord, who is this other comforter? even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. Hereafter, I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh, and hath nothing in me, but that the world may know that I love the Father. And as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Father, the hour is come. I have finished the work thou gavest me to do. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. And we went with him to the Garden of Gethsemane. It had been a frequent meeting place of our group. Judas knew it well. And Jesus knew that Judas knew. Tarry ye here and watch with me while I go and pray yonder. My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Father, glorify thy Son, that thy Son may glorify thee. O oh, my Father, all things are possible unto thee. If thou be willing, remove this cup from me.
Simon Peter, sleepest thou? Couldst thou not watch with me one hour? Forgive thee, Lord. But we are exceeding weary and sorrow pressed. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Right, let us be going. Behold, he is at hand that doth betray me. How will we know which is the man? Whomsoever I shall kiss, that is he. Master. What means this? They contradict the matter. Nay, nay, this shall not be. Yea, that is he. Whom seek ye? Jesus of Nazareth. I am he. Let us take them all. Yea, let us take them all. If then ye seek me, let these go their way. Away, away! Their feet go out to them. My ear, my ear. Take him, take him. Suffer ye thus far. We must take him to Lord Caiaphas tonight. He must be tried tonight. For tomorrow is the feast of the Passover. Bind him. Be ye come out of against a thief with swords and with staves. When I was daily with you in the temple, ye stretched forth no hand against me. But this is your hour and the power of death. Take him hence. Come with me. All of my fellow disciples, fearing for their own safety, disappeared into the night, fleeing for their lives and leaving our master alone with his enemies. And they bound him and led him away to the house of Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders were gathered together. And I followed Jesus afar off because I felt ashamed that I had deserted him. Woman, awake. Uh, oh, boy, it's so dangerous to sleep. Awake, I say. What meanest thou? Say unto Caiaphas that Jesus is taken. Lord Zadok is bringing him here to be tried tonight. But the dawn has not yet come. Go. Oh, they're mad. Bringing a man for trial by night is against all Jewish law. Hurry, woman. Uh, I have never spent a colder night. Come closer. Thou canst not feel the fire from there. Yea, it is bitter cold. Yea. Fire would be welcome. Art thou not one of Jesus' disciples? I am not. Did I not see thee in the garden with him? I tell you, I know him not. Surely thou art one of them. Thy speech betrayeth thee. I tell you, I am not one of Jesus' men. I know him not. Our assembly has been called before thee to judge this man, Jesus, who stirreth up the Israelites to rebel against our God. Speak on. He hath perverted the nation by saying that he himself is the Son of God, even the Christ, and many call him King of Israel. 
speak. What is thy doctrine? The noble Annas asked him the same question, and he answered rather insolently. My lord high priest, the learned Nicodemus will be heard. I declare this trial is being conducted contrary to our custom. Nicodemus, don't forget that the Passover is close at hand, and it is needful, therefore, that we conduct a hasty trial. Ye have met at this illegal hour at night to condemn the accused, which is, as ye know, contrary to the laws of this high council chamber. But Israel has suffered enough, and we can no longer endure a man who calls himself king of Israel, lest the Romans take away both our places and our nation. But are the members of this high council to be both judges and accusers in one? My just court will act both fairly and without prejudice. The witnesses shall be called, and the accused permitted to defend himself. Prosecutor, proceed. Call thy witnesses. Judas Iscariot, step forth. As a Pharisee, I protest. This man has betrayed the accused. And according to our law, a betrayer cannot testify against him. Nicodemus, thy tongue has been much perverse of late. We know thou leanest towards the teachings of this Galilean, and this above all proves how far his false teachings have extended. But this betrayer, Judas Iscariot, cannot testify against the accused. It is our law. I am in agreement with the learned Nicodemus. A betrayer cannot testify. A prosecutor, hast thou other witnesses? Yea, my lord, Caiaphas. There is a witness among many who hath heard him say, he was able to destroy the temple of God and build it up in three days. Call this witness. Jacob Jehoshaphat, I am here. Step forward. Knowest thou the penalty for bearing false witness? Yea, I am a money changer in the temple. I know the law. Look upon the accused and give witness. With mine own ears I did hear him say, that the scribes and the Pharisees were a generation of vipers who could not escape the damnation of hell, that they do not keep the laws of Moses, and that publicans and harlots would go into the kingdom of heaven before them. And furthermore... Witness excuse. With thy permission. You've heard the testimony. This prophet has started a rebellion against our religion. Is he greater than Moses, who gave us the law? The man himself shall answer. Art thou the Christ? Art thou the Christ, the Son of God? If I tell you, ye will not believe. And if I ask you, ye will not answer me, nor let me go. I adjure thee by the living God that thou tell us whether thou be the Christ, the Son of God. I oh, am. Yeah. Well, well, what think ye, further witness? You've heard the blasphemy? What think ye? He is guilty. He should be put to death. He must die. Nay, nay, we cannot. It is contrary to the laws of Israel. The learned Nicodemus is right. We cannot put a man to death. But this man calls himself king of Israel. Does that not make him an enemy of Rome? And is not rebellion against the Roman government punishable by death? That is the Roman law. Then take him to Pilate. Take him ahead. Come thou. When the crowds gather in the streets, they must be led to Pilate's balcony, that he may hear the angry voices of Jerusalem crying out for the Nazarene's death. Nay, nay, I say. You're sending him to his death. You did say you would imprison him for a short time. And now you're sending him to Pilate, and to his death. Get the end. I have betrayed innocent blood. What is that to us? See thou to them. Thou hast thy silver. Get the end. Take back thy silver, and set Jesus free. Gone, I say. Get thee gone. I have betrayed innocent blood. I have betrayed my master. I do not want the money. What shall be done with the 30 pieces of silver? 
Let us buy with it the potter's field to bury strangers in. It is not lawful to put it in the treasury because it is the price of blood. How can I speak calmly of what now happened? Jesus had said, Woe unto that man through whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Good word for that man if he had not been born. Jesus foresaw the fate of one of the disciples. For Judas took a rope and hanged himself. A martyr only to himself. And Jesus was led away and delivered up to the all-powerful Pontius Pilate, Roman governor of Judea, who talked with Jesus but sent him to Herod. But the wicked Herod was only amused and told the soldiers to take him back to Pilate. He brought this man to my judgment hall earlier today. I examined him before you and found no fault in him. When I learned he was a Galilean, I sent him to Herod Antipas, the Tetrarch of Galilee, and even he found no fault in him, for he has sent him back to me. I tell thee, therefore, I would release this man. Nay, nay, nay. nay. Thou must not release this blasphemer. But what accusation bring you against him? He is an imposter who calls himself the Son of God. Well, why come ye to me? Take him and judge him according to your law. But it is not lawful for us to put any man to death. Therefore, we have come to thee. But I find nothing worthy of death has been done by him. Nothing worthy of death? He forbids to give tribute to Caesar and perverts the nation by saying that he himself is king of the Jews. Art thou king of the Jews? Sayest thou this thing of thyself, or did others tell it thee of me? Well, thine own nation has delivered thee unto me. Answer, what hast thou done? Art thou king of the Jews? My kingdom is not of this world. <laughs> From whence art thou then? Speakest thou not to me? Knowest thou not that I have the power to crucify thee and the power to release thee? Nay, nay, if thou release this man, thou art no friend of Caesar's. Whoever proclaims himself a king is a traitor to Caesar. Yeah, a traitor, yeah, 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 a traitor. traitor. Art thou a king then? Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. What is truth? I find no fault in this man. No fault in him? Think ye that Caesar will speak in like manner when informed that his governor protected a man who calls himself a king in Judea? I have hearkened enough to the bitterness of thy accusations. I will test the temper of the people. Take him and scourge him. My Lord Pilate, tidings from thy wife. She beseeches that thou hast no dealings with this just man, for she has suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. Would that she might witness what I intend. Open the gates. Open the gates! You have asked me to deal with this man. Listen. Satisfied. Behold the man. Does he look like a king now? Has he not been punished enough? 
Nay, nay. He is an enemy of Caesar. He must be put to death. He should be killed. He is a false prophet. He calls himself a king. He is an enemy of Moses. He is an enemy of Caesar. Silence. Answerest thou nothing? Behold how many things they witnessed against thee. He dare not answer. He cannot deny his guilt. Ye have a custom. I should release unto you one prisoner at the Passover. Will ye therefore that I release unto you your king? Nay, nay, not this man, but Barabbas. <laughs> what then shall I do with this man? Release him. Crucify him. him. <laughs> Would you have me crucify your king? We have no king, only Caesar. <laughs> Innocent of the blood of this just man. See ye to Barabbas. Give us Barabbas. As she will. Barabbas, who is cast into prison for sedition and murder, shall be released. Have your way with Jesus. Let him be crucified. <laughs> and so our innocent master, the son of God, was led away to the place of execution, Golgotha. Too weak to bear his cross all the way, Simon of Cyrene had to carry the cursed load for him. were crucified with him. <laughs> if thou art the Son of God, descend, and we shall believe in thee. <laughs> Come down, friend, and join us. <laughs> be the Christ, save thyself and us. Dost thou not fear God? We receive the due reward for our deeds, but this man has done nothing amiss. Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. Verily I say unto thee, today shalt thou be with me in paradise. After Jesus had been on the cross for three hours, and the sixth hour of the day had come. There was a darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. And the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the midst. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? I thirst. Jesus was laid in the tomb, and the stone rolled against the door. Awake! Awake, I say! You're on watch! But wherefore a death watch for three days? 
Well, this man was alive. He said that after three days he would rise again. By all the gods, know they not that the tomb is of stone and the seal cannot be broken? The chief priest demanded of Pilate that he place a watch for three days, lest his disciples steal him away and say unto the people that he rose from the dead. The third day is here. There should be nothing to fear, and the watch should be ended. To your station. And on the third day after the death of Jesus, the faithful women who had followed him took the spices and ointments which they had prepared and started out for the tomb of Jesus to anoint his body. Look, the stone has rolled away. How oh, strange. Let us go into the tomb. Yea, I will go with thee. White robe said unto us, Fear ye not, for I know that ye seek Jesus. He is not here, for he is risen. Come, let us tell his disciples. They have taken away my Lord. They have taken him away. Woman, why weepest thou? They have taken away my Lord, and I know not where they have laid him. Mary. Master. Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended unto my father. But go unto my brethren, and say unto them, I ascend unto my Father and your Father, and unto my God and your God. And Mary of Magdala came and told us that she had seen Jesus. This seemed too good to be true. We did not believe her. But at that same day, he appeared to two of his followers going to Emmaus, and likewise to me, the unworthy disciple who had denied him. And in the evening, Jesus showed himself to the whole group of apostles. And afterwards, all we eleven disciples went into Galilee, unto the mountain where Jesus had appointed us. And finally, he showed himself to us on the Mount of Olives. Peace be unto you. Why are ye troubled? And wherefore do reasonings arise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. For thus it was written that the Christ should suffer and rise again from the dead the third day, and repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name. Go ye therefore and make disciples of all nations, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. My blessing I give unto you. So I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. <laughs> 